Hi YouTube, it's Tracy from Entrepreneur Girl and today we're going to be talking about PayPal and I'm going to teach you how to set up your account, how to transfer money into your bank account and also how to send and receive money. The very first thing we're going to be talking about, guys, is setting up your PayPal account. Visit the PayPal website or open the PayPal app. You can create an account from either this PayPal homepage here or you can do it from your phone from your app. You can install the app for free from your device's app store and the account creation process is really kind of the same for both. For today's purposes, I'm gonna be using my computer. So the very first thing you wanna do is go to paypal.com. This is the screen that's gonna pop up and you're gonna log in if you have an account or click sign up if you don't. You can also sign up for free here. So I'm gonna click it. And here we get the option of doing a personal account or a business account. Either one is really fine and you can change it later. So don't worry about that. As always, I like to do business accounts because it's important to set up your business for a place that you're going to be in the future, not necessarily the place that you are right now. And for tax purposes and accounting purposes, it's much easier if you have business and personal separated. And eventually, most likely, you will have to make that leap anyways. Now, for business accounts, there are two different options, each of which will have different cost structures and benefits. Uh, standard accounts are free, but customers must route through PayPal in order to check out. And pro accounts cost about $30 a month, but you get full control over how you want to design the checkout process. The standard free business account is the same as the old PayPal Premier account. So if you're like me and you've had PayPal for a long time, the standard free business is what you're going to be familiar with. And this account is best suited for users who do lots of buying and selling on eBay. That is what I do and that is what I suggest for you. So I kind of just like to do, you know, set it up correctly at first and not have to mess with it later. Um, here, payment standard you can also add major credit cards and if you want to customize the experience you could do payments pro and that's going to cost you thirty dollars a month i do not do that i do the payment standard i mean why would you do this they're both free and this has another option so i just selected standard you can do whatever you feel suits your uh, best but now we're going to enter in an email address and click next. Okay, and then it's going to ask you for some basic information, uh, not only your email address, which does become your username, just so you know. We're gonna go ahead and enter in our password, your legal business contact information and address, and click agree and continue. Now they're asking me what type of business this is. So that will be dependent on how you have it set up. I have it as an LLC. I'm putting business to business, educational services. You could put wholesale, shipping and packing. Um, this is just a fake account to show you today. So estimate your monthly sales. Your EIN number is your business identification number. It's kind of like, you know, for personal, you'll enter in your social security number. This is a number that you get when you register with the state. So when you get your um, LLC, for example, you will get this EIN number. Now we're gonna click continue. It's asking for personal information, which is your social security number, date of birth, your home street address, city, state, and zip code. And you're gonna click submit. And it says, welcome to your PayPal business account. Okay, tips for when you're creating this account would be to uh, make sure you have a strong password, of course, so that nobody else can access your financial information. And make sure that you enter a valid email address because you will need it in order to verify your account later on. Entering these credit or debit cards are optional. After entering in your personal information, you'll be prompted to enter in your credit or your debit card. 
you can do this now or you can come back and do this later but at some point you'll need to do it in order to verify your PayPal account now the difference between verification and not verification is when you don't verify it PayPal will limit you um, on how much you can use this service and how much money at a time you can use and to verify it is really pretty easy you're just going to enter in all of this information and they're going to transfer at least for me it was three transactions and they were all very minimal like 24 cents uh, four cents and then what you do is you go back and you just enter in the three amounts that you see in your bank account the three deposits you enter those in and um, it verifies it because it knows that you have seen the bank information and you can in enter it in precisely and just so you know though that does take a couple of days because it has to be sent to your bank account and then you have to enter it in and then you have to verify it you will need a bank account linked if you plan on receiving money and if you want to be able to transfer it to your bank which of course i do and you do too probably so you know just click on this and uh, follow the prompts to go through the entire process if you want to you can apply for a paypal credit card paypal will sometimes prompt you to sign up for a line of credit and you should read all the terms carefully before applying if you'd rather do this or you can just opt out with a no thanks these are all the things under your profile that you will need to do to verify your account and get it up and running the way that you want it to be. You need to confirm your email address. And there's a blue button that says unconfirmed and you click on that. And it will tell you the steps to take. Go to your email, click on the confirm email button and enter your password. If you can't find this message, check your spam folder, make sure that it's not there. And now you want to link your bank accounts and you want to add a bank. Sending money to friends and family from your linked bank account is cheaper than using your debit or credit card. So most of the banks are here. You just click on the one that is yours and then enter in all your banking information. Now you can do the same thing with debit and credit cards. You can use PayPal to manage these various cards, allowing you to check out from websites without having to enter in your information each time if you want. You can click link a card option uh, to add a card to your PayPal wallet. And you'll need to enter in the card number, expiration date, and the security code. And the name on the card must match the legal name that you entered when you created the account, just so you know, because um, the cards are Things that you should instantly. know about PayPal you can open a PayPal account if you live outside of the US. Uh, anyone from anywhere can do that. You just need to link it to an existing credit card, debit card, or your bank account. So I have uh, both business and personal accounts with PayPal. And I want to show you now how you can send or receive money using your PayPal. If you go to tools and you scroll down to send money, you can choose whichever one of these that you want. So if I wanna request money from someone, so say I have a coaching client and I wanna request money from them, all I have to do is enter in their email address right here. Then I just enter in the amount of money that I am requesting from them. I can change, you know, this is the United States dollar, but I can change it to any international monetary rate that I want and I can write a note and then just click request money. Now how I prefer to do it, however, is going to tools and then going to invoicing. Create a new invoice. Now this is where you can enter in business logos, which makes your statements look a lot more, your invoices look a lot more professional. And it has the date and everything. You enter in their email address. You can put whatever it is in there. Coaching services for one month, whatever you want. Tab over and then you can put the price. Easy to enter in everything and to add tax to your invoices if you want. If they have a coupon, you can discount it. If there's a shipping fee, you can add it. If you wanna allow partial payment, you can do that too. 
And then you can write a note. You know, thank you. You can enter in a cancellation policy, but we're just making this up. So we're just going to go ahead and preview it. So this is what it would look like. It would have my name, my email, and all of this information. And then to my email, it will send me uh, an email stating that I have sent this and it will also send me an email saying that it has been paid. So I definitely prefer the invoices versus just going under tools and the money option because it looks way more professional and so I wanted to show you that. But you could request money uh, very simply this way. Now if you wanted to send money to friends or family this is what you would link to. If I want to send it to my mom and I just put in how much money I want to send her, I can add a little note. And click continue. Under tools is how you will send or receive money. If you go to a summary of your account, I can look at payments received. I can look at payments sent. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you how to transfer to your bank account. You're simply going to click on money and it's going to tell me how much money I have available into this account. Now really for PayPal, I normally leave a small balance in here because I do pay things like my Adobe for my business, different things that come out on a monthly basis. I do pay with my PayPal, so I like to have some balance in here. If it's not like a checking account, I can't overdraw this because I have it linked to my checking account. So say I had a $600 thing that I was paying for today, I it would take $532.26 out of my PayPal account and it would take the remaining balance out of my linked checking account. So I never have to worry about any type of overdrawn anything. But I do leave a small balance in here just kind of, you know, because I know I'm going to spend it on various things. But today I'm going to go ahead and withdraw so that I can show you how to do that. I want to transfer it to my bank account. As you can see, this takes three to four business days unless you have a PayPal uh, debit card, which I have opted not to get. But if you have that, I do believe that it, it takes this time down. It makes it more of an instant process. But I'm going to transfer to my bank account. And normally it is faster than that three to four days that it tells you. So it tells me how much um, balance I have. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer out $500. And I'm going to click continue. And then don't forget to click submit. And then that will be on its way. And it will also notify me on email when I get it in there. And that is all there is to it. So guys, I hope that video was helpful to you. If you missed how to set up an eBay account, I'm going to go ahead and link that down below in the description box. Also, we're having a 25,000 subscriber Q&A video. So if you haven't already, just take a moment and pop any questions you have down below into the comment section, personal or business. I just love that we can interact like that and I can just kind of answer you where you're at. So I think that's going to be totally fun and I'm excited about hitting that 25,000 mark. So subscribe if you haven't already and help me out with that. Well, guys, that's everything, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.